while walking the forest in autumn, amongst the rustling leaves we have all seen the emergence of mushrooms and toadstools. Traditionally we refer to the edible varieties as mushrooms and the inedible ones as toadstools, but scientifically that distinction bears no weight. All mushrooms and toadstools are simply the fruiting bodies of fungi. Fungi are one of the most basic components of any ecosystem, breaking down dead material and returning its nutrients to the soil. Originally thought to be plants, they are in fact in a kingdom of their own and bear more characteristics than animals than plants. Although incredibly prolific and important, we barely notice them until they send their bizarre mushrooms up to spread their spores. When people think of fungi, the most characteristic species has to be the fly agaric, with its bright red and white pepper top. Today it's to be seen adorning many children's books with little fairies or pixies sat on its top. But the name actually goes back to an old wise woman's legend. It used to be blended in with milk, placed in the saucer in the kitchen, and it would attract in the flies. But after consumption, they would quickly die. It's also one of the world's earliest known sources for ethnogens. These were substances used by ancient shamans to induce dreamlike vision states. It was also consumed by the Vikings before going into battle. It brought on a state of fearlessness, and this is commemorated today in the word berserk. The characteristic white spots atop the fly agaric are actually the remnants of the veil of tissue that first enclosed the young mushroom. They disappear with age, the fruiting body usually lasting no more than a week. After all, slugs do find it very tasty. Another side effect of consumption for humans is a perceived distortion in the size of objects. Allegedly, Lewis Carroll's hookah smoking caterpillar in Alice's Adventures in Wonderland was inviting her to take a bite from a fly agaric. I would strongly advise against anyone giving in to temptation and trying one for themselves. The results can be deadly. <laughs>